I'm going to show you how to add an email signature in Apple's Mail app on Mac OS, and we'll go over two different ways to do it. First, we'll make an email signature from scratch, and after that, we'll use an easy-to-use signature generator. To add a signature to your email account, you can just create your signature in any app that allows you to edit text, and then you'll simply copy-paste it into the Mail app. I'm making mine in the Notes app here, where I can hit Command plus T to edit my font style and size, I can add links to my text by using Command plus K, and I can even attach photos to my signature. The photo I'm attaching was a little too big, so I opened it in the Preview app and changed the size slightly to make it smaller. Once I'm happy with the signature, I'll just go to Mail, Settings, and copy-paste my signature under the Signatures tab. Make sure to uncheck the box that says Always match my default message font, because otherwise all the font editing you just did won't carry over. And now every time I send an email, my signature will be automatically added. If you want to make your signature a little more professional, you can use a free signature generator online to format it into a professional and visually nicer looking signature. Here's just one example of a signature generator. You can add all your contact info and other relevant things. You can include a photo, a link to your site, a call to action, and a lot more. What I like about this is that it formats everything in a very clean format. And once you're done, you can simply copy paste this into your mail app. All right, let's give this a try. Again, go to the mail app, go to settings, and then signatures. Now just copy paste your signature in and you're done. And make sure to uncheck the box down here because otherwise it won't look right. You can have multiple signatures and you can easily switch between them when sending out emails. So that's how you set up an email signature in Apple's mail app on Mac OS. Click that like button on your way out, and I hope to see you all in the next tutorial.